just check what we have here so these are the two skips full of rubble so this rubble we actually picked it up around the house around the yard so i was so amazed that there is so much rubble that we actually have so look at that so we are basically cleaning so i don't want to show you a uh, number place for our cars so we've, we've got a few of the mini projects that we're actually doing in our house so at the back there right over there there is a banana tree there so that banana tree has got beautiful tastier bananas when it's actually uh during its season so and look at that look at this waste over there so all of that is coming from our yard so and we've got some few projects that we're actually doing so also over there we are going to be putting the carport because as you can see our cars are just sitting just right there so we are going to be putting the carport over there but we're not going to be putting a carport to cover all the cars on the yard because obviously we're looking at uh, finances so we're going to do it project by project so yes and look at those trees look at those trees those beautiful round trees so yes we're just cleaning look at the gabions so we actually did that because we wanted to make sure that we put the cup car pot or car park just right there so that's my car over there if you have seen one of my videos i was happy that i bought that car over there so now because it's so sunny here in devon so we decided to say let's just put a car park so that's basically our house at the back right there this is actually the side of our house our house is long and how rectangular so it is even our yard is a rectangular so this is basically the side of uh, our yard so the front the front of the house is on the other side but if you don't know our house you'll actually think that it's the front of the the house but that's actually not the front of the house that is basically the side of the house but because the the way uh, our yard is shaped is a rectangular so we have actually used this as if like it's our main uh front of the house meanwhile it's the side of the house so yes so we are cleaning as you can see here there is a lot of rubble over here there is a lot of rubble over here so but we've just cleaned our yard we've just cut grass as you can see the grass looks so nice uh we're actually cleaning a bit by bit and this is the second skip this is the second skip as you can see here we've got um we've got look at that we've got some wood over there so the wood actually came from these trees because our place has got a lot of trees as you can see that that's the that's the avocado tree so we cut it trying to trim it so hence that's why we've got those a lot of those so and another thing that we're actually gonna be doing wow who's that sorry guys i just got a fright someone is hooting another thing that we've actually done um or that we are actually doing we're actually painting the house house over there we're painting it cream white not the same cream white the original cream white is a lighter cream white that we painted the house with currently so that is what we are actually doing so we've got the painters that are actually painting right there so so by the way it's actually sunny here also in Devon I've always said that Devon is way sunny so it's way sunny we've got uh, someone that just came in now one of our visitors they just came in now to visit us so that's why we've got a gate opened over there so talking about the paint see right over there we are actually painting so we've got our painters i also know how to paint but i don't think hi how are you <laughs> yeah how are you yes i'm good so i'm i'm actually vlogging so that's why so you're visiting the, the you're visiting the our lovely dogs and us thank you so much so yeah i was talking to delin so yes so and another thing that you're doing today hopefully we are able to do it today 
we are actually going to look for a land in the village. <laughs> So we are going to look for a lead in the village. So I'm excited about that. So but I'm not sure whether we're going to like the place where we are going, but we can always hunt. So I would say land hunting as part of our vlogmas. So yes, we are also doing land hunting. Hence, that's why I said um, this video, we are just, I'm showing you the things that you are actually um, doing around the house. So... Here I'm um, where we are going to be putting our car park. So this is just the material and material that we are going to be using for this car park. So it's going to be where I'm standing right here. Yes, guys. So I'm actually excited to be talking to you because I haven't talked to you for quite some time. So <laughs> I'm on YouTube. Do you mind sh uh, showing yourself on YouTube? So you can introduce yourself on YouTube. Say hello. Say hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Yes. Tell them what's your name, what you're doing there. My name is Cesar. I'm doing painting. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Cesar is painting for us. He's a professional painter. So you can tell them about your business, what you do, why you love painting and all of that. I'm doing painting. I have my own company, Papalas Painters. So you can call me every time you need. We negotiate everything. Okay. Yeah. So if you want, if you are in Devon and you want painting, so please let me know so I can connect you with Sizwe. So Sizwe is transforming our house. He's a very good painter. So yeah. Except that Sizwe, one would argue to say you're not wearing um, the, the face mask. Not the face mask. Yeah, yeah the mask yeah, the when you're painting. But you're painting outside. Yeah, but no, I'm, I'm not using primer. Oh, yes. Only use mask when you are using primer for the smell too oh. much. Okay, yeah. no, all right, no, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. So, I just want to show you where he's actually done the painting. So, this is basically where he has actually done the painting, but you won't see much because, in any case, uh, they've just started now, so they've just painted the portion of our house. So, this is basically where they've painted, or oh, it's still wet. So, this is where they've painted. I'm gonna show you outside how it looks like because the house is gonna look like the outside. So, because we, it's the paint that we had previously, it was cream white, but this one is much lighter than the previous cream white. So, yes, let me just show you our dogs also. They, uh, so doggy doggies. So, Delin is playing with the dogs over there. <laughs> Delin, say hi to my people here. To your sisters? Yeah, no, so to my subscribers and the viewers say oh. hello <laughs> say hello to them hello everybody yes <laughs> this is Delin. so he's our uh, favorite friend <laughs> the owner of this dog i always say that's my dog actually i'm first we are fostering the dog so this is uh, Delin's dog the dog that you're seeing storm i always take uh, videos with storm uh, and our other two dogs storm and uh, Rocky over there inside really, and, really and Ruby. Ruby is somewhere inside. So we have closed them in today because we've got painters. They're not so used to the dogs because they're scared of dogs. So when there are people that are coming to work in our house, we usually close them in. So that's basically the dog's kennel. It's beautiful. So the three of them, they cohabitate over there. <laughs> over there. They cohabitate over there. So, I've actually not showed you my yard, but, or actually our house in totality. Maybe next time I'll show you my house. I've got reasons why I have not showed you my house. Um, I've got family members that are still not 100% comfortable with being on social media. So, they still want their privacy. This is our banana, the banana tree that I was talking about. Uh, this is basically what you'll find on our yard. There's the banana tree over there. And then we've got our waste bins over there. And then here, just here on the yard, we've got the, uh, here, this is the price stand. And then we've got some bricks over there. So the bricks, we're using them just as part of, as we've been renovating the house. So, and also over here, just over here, we've got some wood. So sometimes we like cooking, uh, cooking 
just outside i'm sure if you've seen some of my videos you would have seen me cooking outside so that's basically the wood that we use to cook outside actually i forgot to show you how i'm dressed up this is how i'm dressed up so now i'm under the sh uh, the shade that's why the video is ki kind of like changing it's kind of like dark and, and and like that so yes this is basically what is happening around here so next time i'll be able to show you the rest of our yard so I, 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 my, my focus for today was just to say we are actually cleaning and in preparation for the holidays so we want our house to be nice i think for whatever reason when you're so used to staying in the house you can stay in the house the way it is who does that like you know like things are not actually okay but you keep on just leaving them like that you know there's a rubble you just keep on living like that i know we're not the same i love hygienic environments but sometimes there are certain things that i feel like because i am traveling a lot sometimes i don't get time to actually do them even my husband is also traveling so sometimes we don't get time to do them but when there are holidays or there are these coming events somehow they sort of like compel you to actually do something and be able to clean the house and all of that so this is one of those so we're looking at the holidays because obviously we are going to be taking some few days as part of leave to enjoy the holidays that's why we actually be cleaning so for now i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna end the, this section of the video right here then i'm gonna show you as we are driving to look for the land uh in the village somewhere where we look for the land i'm not sure whether we're gonna get it or not but we are looking for a land guys before going for a, a land hunt so i'm here at the shop uh, to buy some few things water because it's hot outside and also to buy some few things and i'm going to be living in the house so i'm basically here uh, I'm here. This shop is called Spark. So it's one of our supermarkets here in South Africa. So now I'm just looking for a few things and then also the drinks. And then we'll be off the road. So yeah. Looking for. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this. Does anyone know this? This is basically the yes. Yeah, you know the yes. So this is now you can continue. <laughs> so this is basically the yes. I'm looking for that because uh, my helper wants to actually bake for us. So she wants that. So for you to be able to bake, you need to have yes. You need to have yes and the flour. So this is the flour section. So we've already bought the flour. So I'm remembering now that I probably need some fruits because I am intermittently fasting. So I'm having an intermittent fast. If you saw my previous video, I've indicated that on, on the first to the third, I usually try to, I usually fast. But this time around, I think I've been really struggling. I can't even call this as a fast, but I always try to do that. Even if it means it's for health benefits, isn't it? So, even if this is for health benefits, I always try to do that. Ooh, I'm looking at the mangoes. So sometimes I do intermittent fast where I eat once a day. Sometimes I do Daniel fast where I will have fruits. Oh, I've been craving for mangoes. Now that I'm seeing the mangoes here, yeah, I'm gonna buy the mangoes. Look at that. So I'm gonna buy the mango. And funny enough, I want to eat it. Um, I don't want the fully ripe, I want the half ripe. Yeah, I want the half ripe. I'll have this tree. Jenny? Hello, my dear. I say hi to my people here. <laughs> yeah, say hello. So, what's your name? Lunga. Oh, Lunga. So, Lunga is helping me with measuring my mangoes. Hey, how are you? <laughs> so, yes. 
Oh, I'm gonna take the plants. So the plants. I'm just gonna take one set of plants. So I'm taking the apples. basically what I'm doing now. Okay, I'm going to get uh, drinks quickly. So you know when you are like uh, doing a video and you are talking, people just look at you, look at you so funny. So, but anyway, I think Sorry guys, let me just stop this. Guys, so this is basically what I ended up buying. So I couldn't continue with the video as I was shooting. So as I was busy shooting, someone called me and it was urgent. So I ended up stopping um, uh, stopping the video and then I continued with shopping. So I've got water here, I've got sugar, so I've got fruits which you saw me taking. I've got, I also bought juice and then bought juice. So yeah, so these are the things that I bought. So some of them we're gonna go with them, and then um, others we're gonna just take them home. So that's basically what I ended up buying, uh, just in preparation for our trip. Guys, we are finally going to our place or to the land that I was talking about. So I've got a mango here. So how do you guys eat a mango? So I wanna eat it without even using a knife. So I think I was just craving it. So finally I found it. So for me, like I was just saying that to be, to be able to eat this, it doesn't get stuck on your teeth. You have to get the one that is half ripe. So this is half ripe. So I'm gonna eat it like, like this. Does any one of you eat mango like this? Mmm, this one is, it's, <laughs> it's actually not even ripe. It's not even half ripe. But I, I will still eat it nevertheless. Look at this. So, comment down below if you eat mango like this. So, we finally going. So, we are in the car. Going to where we are looking for land in the village. So, I'm not saying that we're going to find it, but... This is a, a start. You could call it um, land hunting. So I'm with my husband here. So he's the driver. I'm actually eating mango and and talking to you guys. So we are still in our neighborhood. So where we're going is so far. So I'm gonna just cut the video. But I will show you probably just some few areas as we go along the way. And then I'll cut the video then when we reach where we're going, then I'll also show you. So I'm going to enjoy my mango just now. Hello guys, this is basically where we are. We are passing the area called Mkababa. So I'm just going to show you just now how it looks like. It's actually a village. Or oh, I don't know whether it's a village or a township, but it looks like a village. So before we get to the land that we're going to, we're passing this area. Let me just show you. So here they've got a mini car wash. So here in these uh, villages, you find a lot of car washes. So look at that over there. So this area is called Mkababa. So it looks, it, 
it doesn't look so bad as a as a village. It actually looks nice. Okay, yeah, on the road you could find ways there and there, but it's not it's not too bad, considering the fact that it's a village. But the question is, would we love passing here, going to the place that we are going to look for land? I personally, I don't think it's too bad. I think we could pass here, but in terms of safety, I do not know. Look at that mini house over there, it's so beautiful. Look at that house over there. So it looks like people here, as much as it is a village, but they've got beautiful houses. But they don't have a lot of space. Um, it's just a space for just to build your house. Other than that, look at this one. I don't know what this is. It looks like a, an event place. Abashi, Abashi, Abashi. I thought it was just a house, but it looks like an event place. I don't know. But nevertheless, it looks so beautiful. So look at these houses. Look over there. It's so beautiful. So there is life. You can actually see people walking and all of that. Look at that house on that steep hill, mini steep hill. Hmm. Look at those trees. Are those trees or what are they? Are they trees? And look at that. That homestead. If it's a homestead, it looks like a, oh, it looks like a oh, okay, bad place. Oh, it's oh, it's heaven. <laughs> This is a school. Okay, mini hardware shop over there. Guys, we have actually arrived at Mfume, where we are actually looking for land. So we're just passing the tavern here. I think I love the village. Uh, we're actually waiting for the agent to uh, sort of direct us where we're actually looking for this land. So, but the place coming to here is actually beautiful. But where we are now, we are on the gravel road. I'm just going to show you just now. Um, but where we're coming from, there's a tarred road. Let me just show you the gravel road because we're trying to survey the area, whether it's an area where we would actually love staying here. Okay, just hang. The villages. So we are still looking for land, guys. So I'm just showing you where we are. One of the villages. So we've actually passed one village, the village that I thought we were going to. So as we are calling the agent, the agent is telling us that we needed to go forward. So this village has got a different setup. The previous one had like big houses. This one is kind of like different. Um, still open lands that you can actually find here. So if you are looking for big land, I think you can actually find it here. In 500 meters, continue straight. So look at that, they've got a lot of palm trees there. It looks like they're just naturally um, growing on this place. It looks like a wetland. So this is basically the village. So this village is called Ewubwini. So the previous one was called Empome. So that's, that's where we thought we were going. Continue straight. So I'm not sure now here whether we're gonna like this one. Right, right, just put it on the side. Turn right here. Right, as she said, we must be on the 
Guys, this is basically where we are at. So this the, the agent actually did not tell us the truth in terms of where we were supposed to be coming. So this is where and we are on top of the mountain or on top of the hill. So the place is to get to where we're supposed to be going. We're supposed to use the gravel road and we are so scared to drive. Record the video, uh, my, my, my space, storage space, because I'm using the phone to record, just got... Uh, finished so I had to clear some space look at that so yes the it, it, it looks so serene and all of that and it's real real villages unlike the villages that we were showing you whereby um, you could actually see people have built they've got big houses and all of that so here it's real real villages so not to say that the other villages are not real real villages but I'm just saying even the the way people have Built. you can actually see even the rendezvous and all of that but and then there is a school right over there right over there there is a school how the place looks like so just saying that the agent did not tell us where we're actually coming to so the place that we thought we were going to is the one that i showed you previously you want to see as i i actually edit the video you're gonna see the place. Uh, it looks much nicer. Even the houses are big and all of that. Yeah, it's just on the hilly side of one of the villages. Uh, this village is called Ewubwini, and oh, a big a big fly just sat on top of me. So you can actually see people are just walking, and it's a gravel road. We are on the mountains and the hills. No ways. So. This is not basically where we were thinking. Definitely not where we were thinking. So we're thinking of the previous village. Because believe in me, when it's raining here, I'm thinking it's even probably difficult to actually drive here. So, but this is the location or this is the place. Eh, San Bonani. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. So, yeah. So, basically... This is how the place looks like. It's on the mountain. It's on the mountain. So I was greeting those ladies. They're walking. So this is basically where we are. This is our car. And I was telling my husband that I'm so really scared to be driving on these hilly mountains. There is no way that one would come and stay this far. Yeah. The previous place called, um, what is it? Enfome. So that place looks so beautiful. Looks so nice. I think... That one, yes, it's a village, it's a nice village. I think I'm choosing it, but this one, no, definitely no. So, definitely no, 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 no. So, even far to get here, so yes, but the mountains they look so nice. Look, the mountains, look at this, at the school that we're supposed to be going to. Let me see whether I'll be able to show you the school. The school that we are go we're supposed to be going to. Let me just see. Uh, yeah, the school is right over there, right over there. So this is basically where we're supposed to be going, right over there. So that's the school there. There is. That's the school. There is definitely no way to get there. So I look at that. Look at the look at the mountains. Look at that. Look at the mountains. Look at the mountains. Look at the mountains. Us looking for land. Yay. Mission was not successful. But we love the place that we were thought that we thought we were going to. Inform me we love the place. We may as well as just come back. Look at those houses. So people still build the rendezvous. See, see this house over here. So rendezvous, and then the other ones are rendezvous over there. There, rendezvous. This is basically, and then and then that's the school. <laughs> How am I pointing the school? Ah, yeah, the school is just right over there. So definitely, I think we're going to just tell this gentleman that was waiting for us that, no, we are passing. Definitely we're not going to get there.
But anyway, it was nice to take a drive, just look at this location. Look at this. It's actually so beautiful. So if now it makes you realize that some other people that are staying in these locations in the villages, you get modern villages and then you get deep, deep rural villages. So this is what I will call deep, deep, deep rural villages. Yeah. So let me go back to my husband. I think we must not go there, definitely not. We're just not going to go there. It's too far. And besides, grab a road and the hills to get there. Guys, uh, I'm guys. Let me just see. Maybe this is basically where I'm ending the video. If you've watched this, video, this is where we're going. So I think I'm closing this uh, this video. And probably what I'm gonna show you here at Wubini, I'm closing this video here at Wubini. But maybe as we drive back, I'm gonna show you the place that I was interested in, uh, M4 Men. So which looks so beautiful. So that's basically what I'm gonna show you as we go back. Guys, we deciding uh, to go ahead and go and see this place. It's just curiosity. So we've taken another road. So this one uh, is tired, but it's very steep. So if you're a person that is scared of passes, yeah, so you're going to have a, a really big problem. Like I am, I am scared of passes. I'm actually very scared of driving in places like this. So does anyone that can relate? If you can relate, uh, can you put down on the comment section below and just tell me if you are one of those that are scared of driving in passes or in steep hills. But this one looks so nice compared to the one that we needed to drive to, um, like when it was on the gravel road. So, but still, um, I don't think I would still love to come here, irrespective of whether I'm still gonna use a tar road or not. But at least this one is much better. So yeah, like curiosity, I know I closed the video, but because we've decided to come and show you guys where we were coming. So we, we just decided to say, you know what? Let's just make sure that we don't chicken out before getting into where we we're supposed to go. But as a, as a way of coming to stay here, nah. Nah, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. No, 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 no. Oh. When there's rain, yeah. Nah. Thank you again. So this is the short strip. It's going to be mm. yeah. So where is the river? I've seen it. I don't see the river. It should be, but we've just crossed now. It's true. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let's just go to him for me. Guys, we are still failing. So look at this now. So we are on the gravel road again. We're trying to uh, to get an, an entrance where we're supposed to be going, but yeah. It looks like we are not winning with this one, but we tried. But look at this. So I guess when you stay in these places, like everything is just so serene. So I don't know, like um, people that originally are from here, they don't love this place. But if you're not from here, you're going to really struggle. Look at the homesteads. So this is how they build in these locations. It's really uh, like it's it's what I call deep rural. So it's serious villages. <laughs> so the people like here, laid, everything is just laid back. But I think government has done something so wonderful here because they've built them the roads. So look at those houses over there. Guys, we decided to go back. So now we are in the loca in the in the village that we actually wanted initially. Um, so this is yeah, this is basically where we actually wanted. So I'm 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 trying to show you how it looks like the village that we're interested in. 
the, the, the one that we came from is much more deep rural and then whereas this one is kind of like different so it's it's a bit developed as a village but it's still a village so i think there are now standards when it comes to villages there are deep ones deep rural villages and then there are these ones that are sort of like uh, like modernish if i uh, yeah if i can just call it that way look at that it's got even a ground so kids are playing so there is some kind of development around here so it's, it's a village much i don't know kind of like different so on the left hand side it's open but it's the graveyard over there yes yeah, so on the right hand side and then you've got a i think this is a crutch so i must say that we really loved it here so maybe this is where we might just now stop and ask questions because if you're looking for a place who do you talk to So maybe this is what we need to be doing here. So look at that. So there's a mission, it's a church. And then other houses over there. Look at that. So they look at that. So I think it's a combination, if you ask me, a combination of also rural and modern places. Yeah. Look at that homestead. This is how they build. Guys, this is the bread that I was talking about when I was at the shop saying I'm buying this for bread. Uh, Auntie cooked it so it looks so nice. So hopefully as it looks, it also tastes nice. So look at our paint or look at how far the guys have actually painted. So this is the front side of the yard of our house. This is basically the house. This is the front side of the house. So this is how far they've gone with the painting. So this is the continuation of our yard. Got an inside. Let me look at that. So the paint is so wet, 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 wet here. Paint is so wet. So our house is just a single story house. So this is the front yard. So there, we've got a dirty swimming pool. Dirty swimming pool. So this is how far they've gone. So this is basically how far they've actually gone. So actually I can use, I oh know, let me just use this other thing. This is basically our wall. The outside the outside of our wall so we're painting the house so that it looks like it looks like the outside of the wall because like i've indicated we are not painting the inside of the wall as we are doing this project bit by bit these mini projects 
and also looking at our finances so it actually looks like that the color is actually uh, uh, the, the cream white and then the pillars they are actually gray so that's basically how it looks